asking. Anytime worry wants to set in over what you are going to eat, ask. And don't, don't think of how it will happen. I've asked God for cooked food. When there is no food and I've waited enough, I will tell God, I said, please don't bring raw food though. I don't even have power to go and cook now. If you are bringing food today, Father, please bring cook food. And that's how Father does it. Hallelujah. Verse 8. For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. This is beyond door. He didn't mention door. It shall be opened. So you can knock before, you can knock things with beyond doors. You can knock gates. You can knock the gates of the territory, of nations, of kingdom. You, it will be opened. That means whatever is sealed, you don't need to say open. But we just do what? Knock. There is the power of the Holy Ghost in you to knock and the water will gush out and it will run out your dry places. So there is a part of the scripture. He said, everyone that knock, it's open. Brethren, I should begin to knock under your breath tonight. You know, God's servant told us that when we are ministering, when anywhere in his ministry, when anyone is, you should pray on that. Begin to knock now. That these things, oh, they may not have physical door, but when you knock, it shall be open. I'm praying for someone tonight under my voice that those things you are knocking tonight, they are open. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You can ask. And it will be as if the answer are not, is not coming. And you can seek, you may not find. But there is another dimension. Knock. There are things that you don't ask. They just need what? Knocking. Hallelujah. And as you knock tonight, doors are opening. Gates are opening. Opportunities are opening. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Riches rooted in righteousness are opening unto you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Many of us, we love God only with our hearts. And that's when we come to church and we say, Father, I love you. That heart will melt and we start crying. We start seeing only shaking, only emotion. And after the service, we don't love him in our soul. Because when we finish a powerful service, you will see a sister that is not greeting another sister. That sister does not love God in our soul. You will see a believer that doesn't love God in our mind. When he's given a job to do, he will not do it very well. I've, I've seen Christians telling other Christians, Hallelujah. You know, I give you a clock.